So this is my Radeon 7, and it's a good card. Like, it looks pretty, it performs just as it should. It's about the same level as a 2080 non-super. Like, it's, it's just in that same realm of gaming as a 2080. And right now, it is one of the best mining cards. So naturally, on eBay, its prices are super inflated. So I really don't feel like this card is worth what people are asking on eBay for it. And I just decided that it's not worth to me to keep it at that price point. I, I got it for about $760-ish a few months ago. And I feel like it's eclipsed my return on investment. I've made a few hundred dollars mining with it. I've put some videos out with it. It was a great deal. I really like this card. It's just at the current price point, I don't feel like it's worth it. So anyway, I put it on eBay and I listed it for about $2,000, which is insane to me. Like this card launched at about half of that, like less than half of that, which to be over two years old, almost two years old, I feel like it's right in that window and be worth twice as much as you were new is a great return on investment if you just bought this and like used it for the last two years and now you just want to get rid of it and get a free upgrade. You go and do that. It's the naturally smart thing to do. Like you take advantage of GPU crypto miners. They probably are all for buying out the entire stock of every NVIDIA RTX GPU they can get. So go ahead and sell them Radeon for $2,000 because once the crypto bubble bursts, this thing won't be worth jack because it's barely keeping up with the 2080 as is. And it doesn't even have DLSS or ray tracing. So you, both of those things, you just push out the door. It's not happening. But it is a great com compute card and it works flawlessly for anything that I've used it for. It just, it, it just works. Like, it's a good card. So I listed it for $2,000. It had a, you know, a make offer button on it. And I decided, you know, in my head, I would take $1,800 for this card. Hell, I'd probably take... $1,700 for it. But I decided on $1,800. I let it on there for a few days. I got a few offers. And I think on the third day, I got an $1,800 offer. And I took it. I was just sold. So I live right next to a post office. And I ran right over there. Dropped this thing in the box. Obviously, packaged perfectly inside of its box that sits on its shelf over here. It's got a beautiful box. Barely any damage on this. And I shipped it out to the guy. And about six days later, I get a message saying that he's returning it. Like he wants a return. And that got me very paranoid. I'm thinking all different kinds of things. I'm like, he's trying to scam me. He probably pulled off the GPU itself, which is just the card in the center. He put his own cooler on it. Like he put my cooler on his GPU and then is trying to return it now. I just, I couldn't think to myself why somebody would want to return my beautiful, perfectly good Radeon 7. So I look at the return details. It's got a picture of it from about here over. So you'll notice that the warranty void sticker is in this corner. So all I can see is from here over. And it says the HDMI port doesn't work, which I thought was odd because I'd just been using it days prior. Actually, I think I was using it up to like the hour that I sold it. And I'd only ever really used it with the HDMI. And I have video on this channel of me capturing from the HDMI because I only use an Elgato. And the only way that I can capture off of this card is through the HDMI port. And then it says, thank you for your quick shipping. And you didn't use a PCIe protector. So I installed one. And I'm thinking to myself, that seems so arbitrary. Like it seems so pointless that he's talking about a PCI protector when it's in an anti-static bag inside of this box, inside of another box. If anything was to get to this PCI slot, it would absolutely destroy the rest of this card. Like there would have been nothing left of this card if something managed to get through the outside box, through this box, and then down and actually hurt this because there's like an inch of foam on any side of this thing. So I felt like he was trying to use that as like a, uh, oh, you didn't use a, a PCIe slot protector 
So it, that's what caused the, the HDMI port to fail. And now I have a, your perfectly good card inside of my cooler and haha, <laughs> good luck getting it back. And so for the next four to five days that I waited for it to come back to me, I was very stressed. I did not want to have to deal with somebody trying to scam me. And also I was thinking in the back of my head, why would somebody buy this card and then proceed to use it with the HDMI port? Like it just seemed so weird to me. Like he can't be using it for gaming. Like there's, you can get a 3070 for less than one of these is going for. And that's a better gaming card. You could, there's so many options that are better than this card that make it to me not be justifiable at that price point, but also, as I previously mentioned, if this crypto bubble bursts, this card's not worth anything. So it just seems so odd to me that somebody could buy it and then plug an HDMI into it. Like he has to be scamming me. Like there's no way somebody spent $2,000 on, nearly $2,000 on this card. And the first thing they check is the HDMI port. Like if you're a serious gamer, you're gonna use a display port because display port can output, you know, 120 FPS, like 144 FPS. Like it could do a lot more than an HDMI port can, like 1440p, 4K at higher frame rates. Like it just did not compute <laughs> in my head that he could be returning it for any real legitimate reason. So I got it back. I had Sir Benchy set up over here, motherboard, everything ready for it. I got the cameras rolling because I figured this is going to be a scam. I'm going to open this up. He's going to have tampered with it and I'm going to have it caught red handed. And so I can prove it to whatever eBay police that there is and the case will be closed and I'll, I'll get to keep my money. But when I opened it, nothing had been touched. Like it was completely undisturbed. Like, you know, when somebody messes with any of these screws, like say he just took his cooler off, which I knew my cooler has a tiny little scratch right there. So I knew he didn't transfer my cooler. I knew he didn't transfer the back plate or ever mess with the actual GPU itself. Cause if you mess with one of these warranty stickers, you, you can kind of, you can always kind of tell, like you could transfer it with like a heat gun and like heat up the glue and then move it. But that stuff is all very hard to do. Like everything leaves, you know, some kind of evidence when you mess with one of these cards. So I knew he hadn't tampered with it, just looking at it. So I plugged it into Benchy, flicked it on, plugged an HDMI port into it, had it all running through the Elgato so I could capture my HDMI footage if I got anything. And it didn't work. And that really confused me because I was like, huh, well, not only was he using it with an HDMI, which I thought was insane, my HDMI didn't work. So of course, the first thing I do is turn it off and turn it back on again. And then it worked. And I thought, this guy, not only did he buy a card that is way outside of a price that he should be using it for a HDMI output, he obviously didn't put more than five minutes into verifying like his installation or just turning it on and off or maybe even installing drivers. And if he was using it for Linux for that HDMI port, which still, if, you, if you're willing enough and brave enough to use Linux as your everyday driver, you probably know how to troubleshoot your graphics card HDMI slot, not HDMI port not working for, you know, the first boot up or something. Like it just, it was so weird, but I got it back. I'm really annoyed that I have it back, but it didn't turn out to be a scam. And I'm really thankful for that, but, but I also wasted a whole bunch of money sending it all the way to like New York or wherever the guy was, and then having to bring it all the way back and then not be able to even sell it. Like, and honestly, eBay fees are kind of insane. Like I sold this car for $1,800 and they only put $1,500 into my account. So like, did they actually take that much from it? Cause that's damn eBay. You need to like chill. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll go ahead and drive it out to him for $300. <laughs> like that's, I don't know, not really, but anyway, I got it back. It's really all I wanted to say to you guys. I, 
I just want to tell a story. I want to get better at monologuing. And one of the best ways for me to get better at it is just to do it. And so if you guys like this video, if you guys could understand a reasoning behind buying this card and then using it with an HDMI, because DisplayPort, there's three of them. They're all better than that HDMI port. Leave a comment. Explain to me why I'm I'm not understanding it. Like I, I did some Google searches. I'm trying to justify it in my head, but I just can't. So let me know in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching.